Today we're here to talk about the 1992 film Captain Ron. Kurt Russell plays the titular character. Captain Ron. Martin Short plays. Martin Harvey. But who is? Martin Harvey. Well, Martin Harvey, he's a good man. He's a family man. He works hard and he's the provider who just so happens to have the Guinness World Record for the house with the longest phone cord. But he and his family seemingly live an ordinary existence. They have a nice home in the suburbs. But then one day, all of it changes when Martin Harvey gets something in the mail. A piece of luck in the form of opportunity. Opportunity comes to him in the form of a boat left to him by his late uncle. And where his wife sees only dollar signs, Martin Harvey sees adventure. Sure, he knows he can trade in the boat for money, but he ponders, why can't we just have a little adventure along the way? We'll sail the boat to harbor and then sell it off. It takes some convincing, but eventually his wife goes along. And before they know it, they're in the Caribbean, leaving their precious city life behind for something they can't possibly expect to happen. But these folks are domesticated folks. They don't know how to sail. They need to find someone to do it for them. Now enter Captain Ron, Mr. Ron Rico. A boat captain if I ever saw one. Looking at Captain Ron, he is every bit the vagabond you would expect him to be. In fact, to get himself to the Harvey boat, he has to borrow his friend's car. And that doesn't necessarily turn out too well. Then the sails are set and the journey begins. Isn't this great? But so does the competition. Martin Harvey and Captain Ron are two distinctly separate individuals with two distinct personalities. One is not the other. Although a good provider, a good husband, a good father, Martin Harvey is not the most charismatic man. He's pragmatic, logical, prides himself on being well studied, and research. Ron Rico, on the other hand, is charismatic, he's boisterous, exciting, he's a fun guy, he's a ladies man. He's the man that all men want to be like and the man that all the ladies want. Hey! Have a good time boss, cause I'm gonna. Good old Ron isn't setting out to hurt Martin Harvey, not at all. Ron Rico just can't help but be himself. He doesn't draw himself to people. People are drawn to him. He's a walking magnet. He is the sun and we are the planets around him. But life at sea is a different kind of life. And when you put people of such divergent personalities within such close proximity of each other, there's going to be tension. And tension, there is. Despite everything that Martin Harvey does to secure his position as master of the vessel, he just can't help but be outmaneuvered by Ron Rico, a man so comfortable in his own shoes that he inspires loyalty and love in all those around him. And so as time goes by and they get deeper and deeper into their journey, Martin Harvey becomes increasingly more frustrated. As much as Martin despises Captain Ron, he does very much want the things that Captain Ron has, the admiration, the trust, the women. Eventually, tension on the ship comes to a T, and as cool of a guy as Captain Ron is, he does eventually cross the line and Martin has to fire him. It's a tense moment, an unforgiving moment, but Martin feels he's in the right. Now Martin has to become the captain. He has to become the man, test his manhood. Although he did fire Captain Ron, Martin's number one priority is not to simply get rid of Captain Ron, it's the safety of his family. And that is why he steps up in the end and becomes the captain he knows he can be. He takes on those Pirates of the Caribbean and proves not only to himself and his family, but Captain Ron that he is a man, he is courageous, and he is a captain. Looking back at Captain Ron, it is easy just to see the comedy of it all. Hey, get your hands off that. I was just moving it. I wasn't going to drink it. You bet your little booty you wasn't. You want a beer, you get your own beer. It's a bit of a farce, a bit of comedy of errors. <laughs> and admittedly, it is really funny to see Kurt Russell drive Martin Short absolutely insane. 
But as funny as this movie has stayed, and as cool as Captain Ron is, and how much we all would want to be him, it still is fiction after all. There is a point in real life when you just should not try to be someone that you're not. Which is one other thing you can take away from this movie. As bonkers as Captain Ron makes Martin Harvey, Martin Harvey never tries to be Captain Ron. He still remains Martin Harvey. If Martin Harvey had tried to adopt some of the characteristics of Captain Ron, it would have demonstrated a lack of security and confidence. So follow the road paved by Martin Harvey. Do the right thing, but stay true to yourself at the same time, and you will prevail. My name's Adam Lee, and this has been The Real Life. I'll catch you next time.